Today we will be comparing two of the most popular editing apps on YouTube and gonna make a simple edit with the same clips and the same audio on them. We'll see which editing app gives the best smooth flow out there. And don't worry, this video will be fully beginner friendly and you'll see how you can edit your first video on a light motion. So without wasting any time, let's see what we'll be doing today. So here is the video we'll be making today. I already made the video and I'm not gonna show you which one is made with CapCut and which one is with a light motion. It will be revealed at the end. So let's start with CapCut first. For this edit, it's not that complicated in CapCut. First, get all your clips ready, add your audio, etc. Now, add your beat marks on your audio for transitions. After that, adjust the clip size according to the beats and repeat it. I have already made the clips in slow motion like the Twixter style. If you don't know how to make Twixter clips, watch the video on the I button. Also remember, not every audio beat is the same, so you may have to add beats manually. I've shown in this video how to add beats manually, you can check it out after this video. Okay, once we're done adjusting the clips, we'll start adding keyframes like this. Add two keyframes on the first clip like this, and move the last keyframes clip position as you like. You can move it in any direction, just remember that the next clip's direction should be opposite to this one. For example, if you move the first clip's direction to the bottom left corner, then the next clip's direction should be the top right corner. This creates a smooth transition. Do the same for all according to your direction. Now after the clips look like this, since there are no tiles effects available on CapCut, we're going to click the background option to add a background to cover the edges. Next step is adding graphs to keyframes. Make the ease in graph between the last and middle keyframes and make the ease out graph between the first and middle keyframes. Okay, do this for all. Next, we'll add some effects to enhance the smooth flow even more. Go to effects, search for these effects, and apply them like this.
Adjust blur rotation according to each clip direction. After applying all the effects, add this turbulence animation to the first clip. And with that, it's done. Don't forget to enable optical flow while exporting. Now let's make the same edit on a light motion. Well, in my opinion, making Twixter in a light motion is not ideal because I've tried it once and the video was too laggy, so we have to export the Twixter video from CapCut and import it into a light motion. After that, split the clips carefully. Once that's done, go to Effects and apply tiles to all clips. Now start adding keyframes like me. We're going to do the same as in CapCut. Move the last keyframe position to the bottom left corner. Add an ease in graph like this. Now for zoom, we don't need to add any effects. We can directly make it from the scale option by adding keyframes. Add keyframes like me and scale the last keyframes value something like this. Now go to graph and make it like this. Do the same with all clips. Add three keyframes and then apply the ease in graph between the first and middle keyframes and ease out between the middle and last keyframes. Now after adding keyframes to all clips, we're going to add some quality effects to the clips, so follow me.
For the shake effect, we're adding the oscillate effect to the first clip. Follow me for the shake settings. And with that, it's finally done. Now let's see which one was made with which app. So this is the edit. On your left side, this edit was made in CapCut. And on the other side, it was made with a light motion. Tell me in the comments which one is better in smooth flow and did the best job on overall edit. If you don't know anything about a light motion and a light motion graphs, then watch these two videos quick as fuck. In my next a light motion video, I'll show you how you can speed up your edits with some awesome features. Till then, peace.